Beers, Wines and Spirits review. So, from now until the Robin Hood Beer Festival, which is on Friday night next week, for me at least, um, I'm doing all local beers right the way through. Lots of local beers. Some beers are brand new. Beers from all the big Nottingham breweries and Nottinghamshire. Well, we'll call it locally. So, from Magpie Brewery, based next door to Notts County's football ground, which is the Magpies, it's their Hopley Ever After Green Alt Special Edition Session Pale. 3.8% this one. Brewed with all British hops and malts, supporting British farms on a 100% green energy powered brew kit. A very special edition of our classic session pale, brewed with fresh green hops, homegrown or foraged locally. So there you go. Funny thing is, I'm thinking of growing hops at my, um, where I work. I've got the ability to do whatever I want to do, really. Look, look, look. I've got so many beds and uh, I've got plants. I've already, I've already put them in. Um, but I, I might even go full board and um, put actual fencing in and, um, you know, something for them to grow up and that and uh, to have a proper hop nursery sort of thing going on. So there we go. So Magpie Brewery this year, not having a, a brewery bar at the beer festival. Is that a space issue or just, um, I know they did the Nottingham Craft Beer Festival. So. Uh, golden looking pour, nice carbonation, I said there's loads, but it's definitely there. Um, just under two centimetres of uh, bright white head. <sighs> Smells very traditional, very malty, citrus. Let's dive in. Nice bite on the tongue. Yeah, that's nice. Nice traditional drop. Sometimes it's nice to go from craft to traditional and everything in between. You know, um, ABV's right at 3.8%. It just it's the spot. And sometimes that's all we need. I've learned my lesson with the beer, that the old Raggy's beer behind me. Um, it doesn't have to be a big ABV for you to like it. And uh, it should never just be about ABV anyway, it's all about taste and much more beyond that. So, I've sent a message out and uh, I may well be going down to the beer festival tomorrow to actually do a bit of um, bit of grafting, volunteering. And um, more so to see out what goes on. And, uh, and uh, you know, just to... Um, <clears throat> Uh, just out of interest, maybe take the odd video while I'm down there, as you do. YouTube Shorts. Uh, I better be able to. There's no point in going. But no, I'm only joking. Um, yeah, just to see see how the layout is and uh, study the form, as you do. You know, it's all about studying the form, isn't it? You know. Got to be honest, I never like walking into a situation without knowing what the situation is like. Um, it's just where I am, and uh, I dare say, you never know if I would get some videos and then chat into camera and uh, for the beer channel, so you never know, yeah, seeing how that cooks, you know, should be interesting. Get down there, someone puts me up against the wall and threatens to dip me, yeah, yeah, you, you've called us out. That'd be funny, wouldn't it? <laughs> uh, you slag my beer off. You never know, do you? you? Could you imagine? Could you imagine doing a beer review of somebody's beer and you blatantly slag the beer off? I mean, there are people out there who really do. I, I've only done it probably three out of 3,000 reviews. Um, but there are some out there who that is their, what they do. And, uh, and sometimes unfairly. Um, Especially on certain reviews I've seen recently, and you've got to be you've you know you've got to be very careful because at some stage you could run into that person and uh, it might not be an happy ending. <laughs> One in the back of the head. Oh, 
when you're drunk and he comes up, like, yeah, that's him, that's him. Bang. Oh, sorry, mate. So I just walked into you by mistake. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you never know. But yeah, the focus of this week going into the Robin Hood Beer Festival is local, local, local. I'm telling you whatever I know about the beer breweries. So, our good man, Red Dog Brewer. Hey! As a home brewer, do not I got a grain kit in his hand? I think it was a brew house kit. He may comment and say, no, you've got it wrong. But he's got a lovely kit and he's still doing his brewing at home. And that's great because if you're going if you're going at home and you're doing experimental brews at home, you can take it into work and say, look, here's what I've made at home. Do you would you like to, you know, do you think this is something we could brew? um going forward so for me it's um it's very very interesting having that ability i suppose in some ways it's similar to me with my workplaces and um doing beer reviews getting um building relationships and that i mean already since i've got to this workplace we've now got the cask sorted so we, we can have cask beer um we're also stocking like Raggy's Golden um, um, and a few other beers from Lincoln Green. And the hope is that if they sell well, we increase the range of bottled stuff and, and maybe cask and that going forward. Because at the end of the day, it's all good. You know, it, it gives it gives an, an option for the people. Um, yeah, it gives an option for the brewery. And that's what it's all about, isn't it? Giving that option to um, for the brewery, for the hotel rather, to have hotels, to, to be able to use cask beers and, you know, and uh, as the probably the most, by far the most knowledgeable person in my workplace with regards to what beers are out there, I would give my workplaces uh, a list of breweries and say look these are top class breweries they do on cask this is what you can offer at your wedding and then you look at the bottle bag in a bottle offerings and this is something that i need to go, go to all the local breweries uh message them and say look what's your what's your options you know because uh one hotel it's they haven't got a cast system, so it would be bag in a box. And you can offer bag in a box options and bottle options to, to local, to people coming for weddings. And uh, the amount of breweries, and this is something I will do because I, I want the local breweries to have their beers at my workplaces. And then I hope they get a free, free pint for free. Yeah, testing purposes, of course. Yes, yes. <laughs> cheeky review purposes of course you know i'm not looking daft never was never will be um i do things out of the kindness of my heart but i also sometimes um i'm thinking from a different thing you know as you would do you know we all we all have our our, our little um i mean as, as a bear fan bear reviewer um once i find out about the parking tomorrow down at the beer festival, if there is any parking, otherwise I have to wait for the wife to drop me off at Trent Bridge. But uh, I'll be going down, spending four or five hours there. I don't mind it. You know, it's all new to me. It's, it's, uh, uh, it'd be interesting. And uh, there's going to be some videos. Yay. Might be some laughs as well, because if, especially if the breweries are there working on the weekend, getting everything set up, shake some hands. Yay. I'm sure they're not all going to go last minute and do it. Because obviously it starts on Wednesday. So um, they've got to get... I know Navigation Brewery were there yesterday. So, because I've seen pictures. Um, so it's interesting. Anyway. So, nice golden looking pour, white head. I get malty, I get into citrus. Am I right, am I wrong? I have no idea. On the taste, I get a citrus element to the taste, a nice little bit of bite. 
certainly malty as well and it's a nice um oh some more left in hey don't don't leave any beer behind you pay for it drink it but yeah um it's gonna be a great week and there's this there's the other there's the other raggy collab at the beer festival as well as long as a load of beers from magpie red dog brewer's got his beers at the beer festival this is why i want to focus on locals this week because i know they're all going to be at the beer festival i've got enough cans and bottles from local to do a review uh two or three reviews a day going into the beer festival there will be no beer reviews uh, from the beer room from um probably after wednesday night because thursday uh, we're going over to um, a pub in Arnold, Lincoln Green Pub, and we're going to have a few beers with the beer reviewers. And uh, I dare say there'll be some short beer reviews from the pub as I go through the menu in thirds. One minute beer reviews. Jobs are good. Um, hey. And then in the tap room Saturday, there's going to be one minute reviews. Hey. So it's going to be a laugh. Yeah. And uh, obviously, the more drunk we get, then slightly more abbreviated. And hopefully, I'm not going to get too drunk. Hopefully, I'll try my best not to. You know, it is what it is. So, yeah, 5%. 3.8%. So, out of five for me, yeah, a nice, um, I would say, traditional kind of um, citrusy pale for me didn't really get anything else sometimes you do sometimes you don't um i liked it though would drink it again that's for sure um out of five for me about 4.0 out of five for this one and that's it with this beer review thank you all for watching and please comment and uh, for those coming i hope you enjoy next week it's going to be amazing especially for those who are coming for a, for a few days like from the thursday friday saturday and into Sunday, I'm not drinking on Sunday, mind you. Although I'm, I'm up for a meet, but no drinking, because after three days, I need a rest. But, uh, but chinwag's always good. Cheers, everyone. And well played, Magpie Brewery.